More than half a century ago, China built the first ever modern bridge across the Yangtze River in Wuhan. In the early 90s, it was hard to believe that a bridge, at least 400 meters long, could appear in this country. But China is full of surprises. Today, it takes the lead in the construction of the world's longest bridge structures. Thousands of bridges are being erected in a year in the Celestial Empire, and their total number has long exceeded a million. It would seem that after the construction of the world's longest bridge, Hong Kong, Zhuhai, Macau, 55 kilometers, Chinese engineers can safely rest on their laurels. But they are about ready to amaze us with a new large-scale project, a real mega bridge. What is it about? Find out in our video. First, let's jump to the south of the country to Guangdong province. For a long time, the level of its economic development remained below average. All efforts of the Chinese government were directed to the industrial development of the central and northern regions, to which Guangdong province was poorly connected by transport routes. At the end of the last century, the situation changed. The authorities drew attention to the favorable economic position of the region, in particular to the neighborhood with Hong Kong and Macau. Now, Guangdong province is one of the most economically advanced regions in China. This happened, among other things, due to the development of the transport network and infrastructure of the region. And it is here that a new mega bridge is being built between the cities of Shenzhen and Zhongshan. The choice of these two places is not accidental. Shenzhen is one of the most dynamically developing cities in China, the fourth most competitive mega city in the country, the largest in terms of export volume and serves as a kind of gateway for attracting investment, new technologies, and business culture. Zhongshan is half the size of Shenzhen and is located at the intersection of transport routes connecting Hong Kong and Macau with mainland China. In the early 2000s, Shenzhen actively lobbied for the inclusion of the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge in the project, but the Chinese government made a different decision. The idea to connect Shenzhen and Zhongshan with a separate bridge came up in 2008, and the Guangdong government only integrated it into their plans in 2011. Scientific research and project design were carried out for several years. As a result, in 2016, the construction of another bridge began in the Pearl River Delta, which will be included in the list of the largest in the world. The opening of the facility is scheduled for 2024. The budget of the new bridge was 44.6 billion yuan, about $6.7 billion. All the previous experience of Chinese engineers was applied in the design. In scale and complexity, Shenzhen Zhongshan surpasses all bridges that were previously built in the country and even in the world. For its successful construction, it was necessary to take into account several factors – height restrictions, flood control, environmental protection. As a result, the project stipulates the creation of a bridge over the sea, two artificial islands, and an underwater tunnel. The total length of the structure will be 24 kilometers. The open part of the bridge, 17.2 kilometers long, will consist of two sections. The first is Zhuzhaoyang, with a main span of 1,666 meters, and a suspension bridge named after the city of Zhongshan, with a span of 580 meters. The bridge and its entrances will have eight lanes along its entire length. The tunnel, with a total length of 6.8 kilometers, five of which will run underwater, will be built with reinforced concrete. It will be the world's first underwater tunnel with four lanes in each direction. Its width will be 46 meters. The construction will require over 320,000 metric tons of steel. To connect the sections of the tunnel and the sections of the bridge, Two artificial islands with an area of 15,000 square meters are being built. The construction of the islands is based on huge steel cylinders, almost 40 meters high and weighing about 640 tons. To form a frame for each island, 56 of these cylinders are installed. As conceived by the creators, outwardly, the islands will look like diamond-shaped kites, only floating not in the air, but water. It will house office towers, a conference center, restaurants, and recreation areas. An operations center, communications with Shenzhen Airport, and a service as well as emergency management area are also provided. The infrastructure of the mega bridge is designed such that cars can move at a maximum speed of 100 kilometers per hour. 
The throughput capacity is 90,000 cars per day. The durability of the structure will exceed 100 years. The bridge will connect Guangshen Expressway south of Shenzhen Airport and Jihai Expressway east of the airport on the east side of the delta, with Zhongjiang Expressway on the west side. The bridge will reduce travel time between the two cities from 2 hours to 30 minutes and will provide transport links between three pilot-free trade zones, Qihai in Shenzhen, Nansha in Guangzhou, and Henqin in Zhuhai. The project is also expected to provide an efficient connection to the future. Bao'an International Airport in Shenzhen, which is also due to be completed in 2024. Chinese bridge construction has come a long way over the past decades. The country not only learned to build bridges, but it also made up for lost time at a record pace, surpassing other states. In the Celestial Empire, they know that the development of new industries, intellectual production and information technologies is behind the construction of large bridges, so they do not stop at the reached. What other mega projects in China are you eager to learn about from our next videos?